TubeBuddy and vidIQ are both great tools that you can use to do keyword research and grow your YouTube channel. But the real question is, which one is better? Today, I'm going to be comparing vidIQ against TubeBuddy in terms of the free versions, the paid versions, and overall, why you might want to pick one over the other. Now, this video is not sponsored by either company, nor is there going to be any bias because I've been using both tools for the last few years, and I continue to pay subscriptions for both of them because they have their own unique strengths, weaknesses, and features, which is why I wanted to make this video. Now, if you guys do enjoy this comparison and end up picking one, one thing I would appreciate is if you could use my affiliate link down below in the description. I'll link them both and that would really help me out. But with that being said, let's get started. Now, in terms of how I'm going to be comparing the two, I'm going to be doing a very practical comparison. Both of these tools have tons and tons of features, but most of them, truthfully, you won't be using extensively or every day. So I'm not going to do a points-based system where, you know, just because one of them has an emoji picker, it's automatically a little bit better. Instead, I'm going to be comparing the core features for both research tools and tools to make your life easier on YouTube, as well as be comparing across the free versions and the paid versions. Now, in terms of free research tools, both TubeBuddy and vidIQ have options that you can access in the free versions. So with vidIQ, you have access to the video scorecard and the live stats bar, whereas with TubeBuddy, you get free access to the keyword explorer, the search explorer, and video lytics. And this sounds like a lot, but I'm going to be explaining what all five of these things are. Now, the most similar tools that you'll get access to would be TubeBuddy Video Lytics and the vidIQ Video Scorecard. And essentially, once you install either Chrome extension and open up a video, you're going to be seeing these two pages on any video that you open. Now, they both show you basic data around how the video is doing, as well as other statistics, such as either likes or comments, or you know the amount of shares it has on social media. But where they slightly differ is that TubeBuddy shows you the metadata upfront, which includes things such as the tags, whereas vidIQ, what they do is they actually show you other metrics such as the views per hour and the view velocity. So vidIQ does a slightly better job of showing how well the video is doing right now as well. Now, where these tools differ is with vidIQ in the free version, you also get access to the live stats bar. And essentially what this does is it gives you a real time view of how your channel is doing. And it's a great visual way to see if there's been a huge change in either your views or subscribers or a couple of other metrics. Whereas what TubeBuddy does is they give you access to the keyword explorer or the search explorer. And even though these are two different tools, they essentially do the same thing. The Keyword Explorer you can access on the YouTube homepage. And basically what you can do is you can look up different terms and see if that term is gonna give you a good score for your channel. So it gives you a weighted score and an unweighted score of how good that search term is. But if you were to actually just search that term in YouTube as well, then it opens up the Search Explorer, which gives you the exact same data. So with this tool on TubeBuddy, you'll also be able to see how many people are searching for it and how competitive that video topic is compared to other channels that are also making this video. Now with the free version though, you only get the top three queries as well as only 25 searches per day. Now when I use this tool, I generally do 10 to 15 searches per video. So I don't think this 25 search a day limit is too low, but this is something that TubeBuddy has that vidIQ doesn't and vidIQ has the live stats, which TubeBuddy doesn't. Now, one more thing that you can access within both of them is competitor analyses. Now within vidIQ, you can actually track three channels at once as your competitors and see how the stats are changing over time. So for example, you can see the change in views and subscribers and the most popular videos for up to three channels. Whereas with TubeBuddy, you get access to Channelytics and Channelytics is a way that you can go onto your competitors and see their change in views and subscribers against yours. But I would say that Channelytics is more bare bone because TubeBuddy has its own competitor scorecard, but you don't get that in the free version. Other than that though, both tools don't really have any additional features that you're going to be using and everything else isn't available in the free version. So for example, with TubeBuddy, you don't get access to their A-B testing or any of their productivity tools. So you can't like bulk update your description or your end cards at once. Whereas with vidIQ, you also don't get access to the keyword research tools. 
So all in all with the free versions, I would say that TubeBuddy is better for doing video research because you have access to the search and keyword explorer. And then vidIQ is better if you want to do in-depth competitor analysis because you can actually track three channels at once or if you wanna do in-depth video analysis and see, and see different statistics such as the views per hour. Now moving along to the paid versions, both apps have their own pricing structure, but it's very, very similar. If you get the most maxed out version for either TubeBuddy or vidIQ, it's going to run you $49 a month and $39 a month if you get the annual subscription. Now, even though these apps have different tiers and different features for each tier, in the end, they're very, very similar. So you'll get a similar amount of features with each price point. So all I'm going to be doing is comparing the most upgraded versions for both since they cost the same and they give you all the features. And you can see the difference in the features because the pricing stays fairly consistent. Now let's compare the difference in the research tools between both paid versions. Now, of course, since you get access to everything, there's a lot of similarities. Now with the paid versions of both, you can do in-depth competitor analysis, you can do bulk SEO optimizations, and you can do keyword research to the fullest extent. So with TubeBuddy, what you get access to is the full version of the Keyword Explorer and the Search Explorer, which means that what you can do is you can have unlimited searches per month and it gives you all the results for that video, how it ranks in terms of searches as well as your competitor score and related video titles. But where vidIQ really shines is with its paid keyword tools because vidIQ has a bunch of research tools that you can actually use on the web page instead of the Chrome extension. And the tool that I use the most is actually the keyword planner. And in my opinion, vidIQ's keyword planner is much better than TubeBuddy's search explorer because when I search something into the vidIQ keyword planner, it gives me the searches per month, as well as a ton of other similar tags and titles that I can easily organize by searches per month or the weighted score against my channel. And so with the vidIQ keyword research tool, what I find myself doing is using it way more often than the TubeBuddy one because it's a lot faster since I can easily get access to all the data. Whereas with TubeBuddy, what I would have to do is basically individually search every single keyword term to get the amount of searches per month as well as the other scores. So in terms of paid research tools, I would say that vidIQ is better. Now let's look at the difference in the actual YouTube tools between both paid versions. And this is where I think they actually do a flip. So in terms of paid YouTube tools, TubeBuddy has a lot more options. And this is where things differ. So with vidIQ, what you can do is bulk SEO optimization. So because once, I, once again, vidIQ has a bunch of web pages on top of its Chrome extension, once you go on this web page, it basically shows a bunch of your videos. And then based on different trends, it tells you how you can update your title and your tags. And what you can do is automatically go through each video on this page and quickly update it based on what the trends are, which is pretty cool. And that's basically the most important YouTube tool that you're going to be using within vidIQ. Now with TubeBuddy, you also get access to a lot of bulk processing, which is something that vidIQ doesn't have. So say for example, I ended up changing my Twitter handle and I wanted to change my Twitter handle in the description of all 300 of my videos. I can do that all at once in one click with TubeBuddy. Similarly, I can update cards as well as the outro end cards. So there's a lot of different ways you can do bulk processing. And honestly, if you're ever going to need to do that, it'll save you a ton of time because you don't have to do it manually. And so just as how I'm subscribed to vidIQ because I will continue to use their keyword research tool, this is why I continue to stay subscribed to TubeBuddy because their bulk processing tools are very, very good. Now on top of that, one other YouTube tool for testing that I found very, very helpful is A-B testing. And so the way A-B testing works is basically, say I have two different titles or two different thumbnails and I don't know which one is better. TubeBuddy makes it really, really easy for me to select both the thumbnails and every single day it'll automatically rotate both of these thumbnails for a course of you know about two weeks. And by the end, it'll tell me which one is better and then I can automatically set that as my thumbnail. And A-B testing is something I really believe in because it helps me decide what kinds of thumbnails people really like. And so this is also another feature which I will continue to use, which is why I still use TubeBuddy almost every day as well. So when it comes to actual research tools, 
vidIQ is better in the paid version, but when it comes to productivity and testing tools, then TubeBuddy wins because it has different you know, features such as bulk processing and A-B testing that vidIQ doesn't have. And then finally, I also wanted to touch on the beta testing both apps are doing. So what's great is that because both of them are kind of competing, they're always trying to get better and roll out new features for us. So right now, from what it seems like, vidIQ is working a lot on developing its trend features. So it'll help you detect what kind of trends there are on YouTube, as well as what kind of trends you should be following to actually you know, get more views based on the kind of videos you make. So if I go on the homepage, it actually tells me which keywords I should be looking at based on the videos I make, which is very helpful. And then with TubeBuddy, what they've been doing is they've been focusing a lot on a tool called the Click Magnet, which is also revolving around thumbnails and testing. So basically with the click magnet, what I can do is I can see which thumbnails of mine do the best in terms of CTR. And on top of that, I can also compare things such as, you know, do people prefer to click on my videos if there's a face in the thumbnail versus no face? Or do they like thumbnails that have more text or no text? Or, you know, which colors are the best for my thumbnails? And these are things that I would never really know unless I really dug into the data, but the click magnet lets me do that very, very easily. So both of them are continuing to develop new features that you also wanna keep in mind if you're going to be purchasing just one of them. So after all of this talking, you might be wondering which one is the best. Well, if you're looking to get a free Chrome extension or free YouTube tool, TubeBuddy is better if you're looking to do keyword research because you get access to the keyword and the search explorer. Whereas I would say vidIQ is the better free tool if you wanna do competitor analysis or if you wanna look at in-depth video statistics for your channel as well as other channels because you can also see things such as the views per hour. On the other hand, if you're looking for a paid tool, I would say that vidIQ is better if you're looking to do keyword research because you can do it straight from their webpage and easily go through tons and tons of results. Whereas TubeBuddy is better if you wanna do things such as bulk processing and updating multiple parts of your video at once, or if you're really obsessed with your thumbnails and wanna optimize them and partake in activities such as A-B testing, or if you wanna use the click magnet, because these are features that you can't find on TubeBuddy. But at the end of the day, they're both very, very good tools that have their own strengths and weaknesses, which is why I use both. The only thing you wanna be mindful of is the features that one app has that the other one doesn't. But if there's something that both apps have, they both do a decent job and they'll allow you to get more views and subscribers. But that's about it. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. And if you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching. My name is Iovo and I'm signing out.